This is Tom Fox. I'd like to welcome you to the newest addition to the Compliance Podcast Network, the Compliance Tip of the Day. This is the podcast where you bring you daily insights and practical advice on navigating the ever-evolving landscape of compliance requirements. Whether you're a seasoned compliance professional or just starting your journey, my aim in this podcast is to provide you with a bite-sized, actionable tip to help you stay on top of your compliance game. Join us as we explore the latest trends from the Department of Justice, share some best practices, demystify complex compliance issues to help keep your organization doing business ethically and in compliance, and at the end of the day, more profitably. Tune in daily for your dose of compliance wisdom. Let's make compliance a little less daunting, one tip at a time. Now a word from the sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, Ethico. In compliance, the value of anonymous reporting is undeniable. But with Ethico, anonymity doesn't mean a loss of connection. Our blinded, two-way communication fosters an environment of trust and confidentiality, encouraging open and honest dialogue. It's not just about receiving reports. It's about understanding the story behind each one, creating a culture of integrity and respect. Transform your approach to anonymous reporting with Ethico. Begin your journey at ethico.com slash CPN, where you can book a demo, access an exclusive white paper by Tom Fox titled The ROI of Compliance, and utilize our free ROI calculator. Today, we consider the importance of data governance in any data-driven compliance program. The convergence of compliance, data governance, and cybersecurity has become crucial for the running of a successful compliance program. And these three disciplines are a growing trend emphasizing the need for collaboration and breaking down silos within organizations. The key factor that impacts the importance of compliance, data governance, and cybersecurity is data governance, however. Data governance involves managing and organizing data for accessibility, accuracy, and compliance. With the increasing amount of data being generated for compliance and other corporate functions, It has become crucial for organizations to have effective data governance and legal technology services in place to ensure compliance with regulatory obligations. It plays a significant role in both the business and legal aspects of an organization. CCOs and compliance professionals rely on data to make informed decisions, analyze trends, and measure key performance indicators. From a legal perspective, data governance is essential for providing legal advice and meeting regulatory obligations. Moreover, data preservation and credibility are crucial for effective compliance representation if a regulator comes knocking. Organizations need to identify and preserve relevant data to avoid obstruction of justice and ensure that information information is not deleted or tampered with. Another area of concern is the intersection of data governance and ESG. Organizations need to understand their data and respond to regulatory inquiries and obligations relating to ESG. One of the key challenges in implementing compliance programs is gaining leadership from, excuse me, buy-in from executive leadership teams, or ELTs. Changing compliance culture and elevating privacy to a boardroom conversation can be difficult. However, it is crucial for businesses to understand the importance of corporate governance, data sovereignty, cybersecurity, and, of course, data governance. ELT buy-in ensures that necessary resources and funding are allocated to implement privacy and uh, data governance effectively and, most importantly, correctly. Data governance is going to be a key component for compliance professionals going forward. Even if this is not something you looked at before, it's going to be something that you need to look at in 2025 and beyond. You know, this month's sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, including this podcast, is Ethico. Have you ever wondered about the ROI of your compliance program or had concerns with presenting budget proposals to your CFO? Well, I partnered with Ethico to write a white paper on the ROI of compliance and how you can think through compliance as an investment strategy. Ethico has put together a ROI calculator for you. Check them out on the website. This is Tom Fox again. This new podcast, Compliance Tip of the Day, will appear daily. And frankly, it's one of the most requested 
topics for a podcast that I get on a regular basis. It's going to be short and sweet with uh, one tip with some takeaways that you can utilize to implement into your compliance program. If you've got a question that you would like a tip on, please submit them uh, through our website and we will use them in an upcoming episode. The Compliance Tip of the Day is a production of the award-winning Compliance Podcast Network.